I can't believe I missed the release of the new file manager plugin. Welcome to QuickBase Junkie. I help QuickBase builders learn fast to deliver more. In my defense, I was in the middle of moving. In construction, field reports are used as a daily log and often store photos of the job site. In order to easily create a sample app, I used the new AI Smart Builder, simply telling it that I need an app that collects daily field reports. So that's what we have here. I'll pop into our field report table and show you one of the records. Now we're collecting the date and some other information about the project that we're working on. But what I wanna also include are multiple files of job site photos. And I want the user to be able to upload all of the files from that day in one action. We can now do that with the new file manager plugin. Before we dive into the plugin, I do happen to know there is a little bit of pre-work that we have to perform, and that is adding a child table where those multiple records will be stored. So I'll go ahead and click on new table, create that from scratch, and I'm going to call this just files. And we will need that one file attachment field at a minimum. We may also want to include other fields that someone may have to fill out after they've done the multi-file upload and I'll create my relationship to the field reports, where one field report may have multiple files. And for now, I'll leave no lookups. With the table created and the relationship established, I can go into my app settings, scroll down and open the plugins. Here you see we've got the file manager plugin. There's also the Gantt plugin, and I have a brief video on that one as well. Let's go ahead and install the plugin. It's going to ask us for a title and a description if we like. Now, there are some very important requirements that you should review. Number one, do you have the ability to install plugins on your account? There's a chance that you may not. And if that's the case, you want to talk to your Realm admin. Then we get into the table and fields. This is what we just did. We have a parent table, we have a child table that has an attachment field. We're gonna to wanna to know how do you wanna treat that attachment when it comes to deleting files? Will the delete action remove the entire record or will the delete action only remove the attachment and not actually delete the entire record? That is my preference to delete the attachment and not the entire record. And then we can go through the rest of the steps. So once we've confirmed we've done all of that pre-work, we can check the box and hit next. Here we've got several different options when it comes to the file uploads themselves, the max file size, how many files can be uploaded in a single action, whether we want to create a preview for image files, and then what happens when we delete the file. My preference, only delete the file, keep the record. And then we need to select who is our parent, right? That is our field reports, and it's identified our key record. And then our child table, that's the new one that we created called files, its key field, and the related table reference to the parent, which was the related field report, which was automatically created when we established the relationship, and our file field, which is just the attachment field. That's it for settings, I'll click save. QuickBase will do its magic, and now I have the File Manager plugin. Go ahead and exit out of here and head over to our Field Reports table. Open one of these up and scroll down past the relationship fields. I now have the File Manager plugin where I can upload files. But we're not done yet. There are some really cool hacks that you can also do. So hold on, I'll show you how this works and then we'll get into those hacks. I mentioned I kind of missed this plugin release because I was in the middle of moving. Well, not only that, but later in the year, we also remodeled our house. So these are a couple of photos from that project. And wow, check out the file manager plugin, rapidly uploading all of these photos. So let's dive into this actual field. What QuickBase has created for us is a iframe. You see it's set here as an iframe. We can adjust these settings if we don't like the size as it's displaying on our forms. And it uses our Realm host name, which is essentially yourcompany.quickbase.com. 
and leverages something on their server in order to render that nice user experience and then and engage with the child table. I'll exit out of here and we can look at that files table, which does have all of our files. A couple of important things to note here when we were looking at this on the field report, you notice this particular app created by the AI Smart Builder is using the new forms as a default. The new forms at this time do not work on mobile. And for this particular use case of field reports, we do need to make sure that these work on mobile because our guys are out in the field using their phones to take photos for the field reports that our secondary form on the old forms also includes this file manager plugin. Once that's enabled, we will be able to see this on our mobile device and use it in a very similar fashion on the mobile app. Should also work on mobile browser, but you'll want to confirm that for yourself if that's the use case you're trying to solve for. I'm just gonna rearrange this really quick. That looks better. Now, because this field is a formula URL field, we can do a few other things with it if we wanted to. We don't necessarily have to embed it as an iframe. We can include it in a new window. Um, just save that setting and see what that looks like. Refresh. I know I've got a link or a button, you can set this up as a button, that will open a new window with the File Manager plugin. You might prefer something like this, where this interface is sort of separate from your form itself, and your files ultimately then live here on a regular embedded report. We could also set that up as a pop-up window. I actually really like this view. Um, let's go ahead and change that to show a button and save refresh. Now when we click the button, we get a pop-up window. It's just over here. And we can upload our files. Close it out. Now we would have to refresh this screen as well in order for all of those files to show up in our file section. You could turn this into a rich text formula field gives you a little bit more control over that pop-up. I'm actually gonna use my button starter tool to quickly give me the code for our pop-up and include the refresh on close. Snag this piece of that formula. Make a couple more edits here. Just wanna be really, really careful not to modify the actual URL that QuickBase has generated for you. And I'll save. Head back into a field report. Let's go ahead and grab one we haven't used yet. I can click this Upload Files button. That gives me a pop-up. I can control the dimensions a little bit better in the rich text field as opposed to the URL field. Upload some more files. And in this case, when I close the window, it's gonna refresh automatically because of that setting that was included in the URL and my files are all there. Going back to the original, when we choose to delete one of these now, so we've got seven files, so I'm gonna delete one, delete the file, but not the record. And so that's what's gonna happen. So just to be sure, we've got six files now there, but we actually still have seven records. If you did have additional data that needed to be added to each of these, you could use the grid edit function or potentially go into each of these records and say add a file name or other information that needs to be recorded along with it. But the actual action of uploading those files is much, much quicker. One more thing to add, if I need to add a new field report, you'll notice there's a problem. Because the record hasn't been saved yet and there is no parent record ID available for the plugin, I'm getting this error message. Essentially, I need to go into the form settings, into the field, and remove this add option. This way, it only shows once the record has been saved. 
You may also want to include some additional messaging to that effect, so that way users understand that they first need to save the record before using the file manager. That should be just about everything you need to know about the file manager plugin. I hope you enjoyed this demo and get an opportunity to use it for yourself. If you liked this video, there's a whole lot more going on over at quickbasejunkie.com slash training. And when you're ready, I'll see you in the first lesson. If you found this video helpful, let me know. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye for now.